Hi, this is Jay. I'm going to show you how to get into Corona Project Manager and get up and running very quickly. Uh, the first time you start, you're going to need to go into Preferences here and set up the a location of the Corona Terminal app for Corona Game Edition and Corona SDK. Now, if you're only using one of those, then only you only need to fill in the one that you that you care about. And it's easy to find. All you have to do is hit the Browse button and then go to where you installed it and find this file right here, Corona Terminal. Select that and then click the open button and it'll set that like that and then you click OK and you're done with the setup. That's the only setup that it requires. Let me show you how to put in a new project and I'm going to use a project from the sample code folder um, in Corona. You can see that I already actually have four projects set up here. This is over in the left hand side. These are This is the project list here and over in the right hand side these are all the assets that belong to that project. So I'm going to create a new project and here's the sample code window and I'm just going to take bullet just drag it over here and drop it and you can see that now bullet is one of the projects and here are all the assets for that. Now if we want to run this we can just go ahead and click the launch button up here and it will actually go ahead and launch the Corona simulator and run that and we can we can switch to any of them actually we can run horse animation here just launch that or collision detection launch this and that's how easy it is to get a new project into Corona Project Manager and that works good for an existing project but what about starting from scratch right up here in the toolbar you can see new project and I'm gonna call this uh, zombies ate my poodle that's gonna be the name of my game it's gonna be for the iPhone Corona Game Edition and I'm gonna go ahead and create this brand new on disk and a new folder I'm gonna call it Zamp Game alright so I have that there and I've got three checkboxes here uh, main.lua, build.settings, and config.lua. If I leave those checked, when I click OK, it will create the new project and it will actually create uh, stub files uh, in that directory. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And we now have Zombies Ate My Poodle, and you can see the three source files that are ready right here. And in fact, if I double click one of them, it's going to go ahead and launch inside of TextMate. Now Corona Project Manager is not a text editor, it doesn't have a text editor built in. What it does is when you double click on one of the source files it will automatically launch whatever you have set on your system to edit Lua files. So if you have bbedit set to edit your files then it's going to launch bbedit and open up, uh, open up the file for you to edit at that point. And you can see it also goes ahead and puts the name of the project up here at the top of your source file and uh, does a copyright with your name and your name is included when you register the software. Let's look at another cool feature of Corona Project Manager called Dynamic Assets. We have a collision detection project here and I'm going to go into this project and take sodacan.ping and just drag it and drop it into collision detection and we can see that now this is also a part of this project. You may have noticed the, the green balls over here to the side. I'm going to go ahead and select this one and it turns red. That means that this file is not a part of the project. So I can go ahead and launch this. And we can see that the, the crates fall down. But what if I want to try and make it so that soda cans fall down and use this asset? One way I can do that is go into main.lua and change the actual code that references that file. But there's a much easier way. I'm going to right click on this, edit it, and I'm going to give it an alias as crate.ping. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and turn off the original crate.ping. Now when I launch this, it's going to use all of these assets, but it's not going to use crate.ping since it's turned off. And it's going to use the alias for sodacan.ping. Let me show you what happens. Same exact code, but instead of using the crates, it uses the soda cans. I can go back in, turn soda cans off, turn crates back on, launch it, and we have it like that. And you can change, you can swap out uh, audio files, graphic files, you can swap out code files. So if you have, for example, a second 
main.lua, maybe you're trying uh, some different types of code, you could create uh, a second main.lua file, 